Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About. And today we are learning about a very cool coral, which I know it's not really a coral. It's actually an invert, but in all in all, it's all really a coral to me. Today we are learning about a mini carpet anemone these are really cool one of the biggest things you can get off right on the bat is that carpet anemones can get huge you'll see them in tanks and no doubt they're at least 12 inches across i mean they can get even bigger than that these normally stay about four to six inches prices on them you'll normally spend about 30 bucks for them i've seen more coloration out of them normally whenever you get a little bit more reds in it or oranges colors you don't see that often you can definitely see the price get a little bit more up there more in the 60 range care level they are super easy to take care of temperature you want to keep it 72 to 78 normally i'd keep them about 78 those anemones normally like a more warmer tank bkh 8 to 12 ph 8.1 to 8.4 and your salinity 1.023 to 1.025 make sure to keep it right in there colors on them god there's a ton of them in my tank i got one with a really nice red center and he has little bitty green tips along the lines most of the time the ones you see have a lot of green kind of white coloration going on those are really common and then some of the even crazy ones that'll really cost you is the ones that have a lot of orange in them and the ones that have a lot of yellow in them diet so these guys of course feed a lot off photosynthesis doing their thing by the lights but you also want to give these guys a pretty good meaty diet it'll help them grow and get a lot bigger like you want them so a lot of times we'll cut up little bee pieces of shrimp and drop it on top of them like you'll see a lot in this video just kind of give you an idea and they'll grab them and suck them up really fast make sure not to give them too big of a piece because what they'll end up doing is they'll eat it what they want and whatever they don't want they'll literally just spit it back out so then you got pieces of shrimp floating around your tank and you really don't want that oyster feast is another good one that i really like to feed in my tank they love that stuff origin they do come from the philippines kind of vietnam area venomous they definitely are most anemones are so with these guys you shouldn't have to worry too much about it with your hands your pores are so tight normally you have rough hands so it's hard for them to get that little stinger to shoot that venom in you so you really never have to worry about that main problem is whenever you reach down real far in your tank and they might hit you on your forearm and they can definitely get you good right there normally you just gotta let it work its way out it feels like a bee sting it's not fun so definitely be careful with that placement so really i've placed them anywhere in a tank and they do fine what i really like doing is putting them at the bottom that way they can spread real nice on the sand bed and they look really pretty but a lot of times people will put them up in their rocks which is good but a lot of times whenever they move which doesn't happen often but they can move and they'll definitely sting corals around them so a lot of times people like to keep them in the sand bed current i definitely keep them a good medium current maybe even high that'll help them feed really well and it'll keep them really healthy tank size doesn't really matter now they are very uncommon for clowns to actually host them so i wouldn't get your hopes up for that i've seen big carpets like actual carpet anemones they'll host them all the time but for mini carpets it's pretty rare uh, another thing we like to do is put them in pvc pipes this will make them anchor that foot down in the pvc pipe and it's rare that they'll move ever and then we can just put those wherever we want and he'll blossom out of the pvc pipe and it's really pretty what else we got on here i think i pretty much hit on everything you need to know uh just make sure you don't put him in near anything because he definitely will sting it give him some good current make sure to feed him some meaty food and other than that i think you pretty much hit on anything if you got questions with your lights please leave them down below i'll let you know if your light's going to be powerful enough for them if you got any other questions on them please leave them down below hope y'all like this video make sure to subscribe to my channel and i will see y'all later hope y'all have a great friday